3015 Luis. That house looks rehabbed, somewhat newer. And neighbor to the right, nothing wrong with them, they look decent. Our roof looks good on both front and back. It's a low traffic street. Not bad houses, no board ups. Uh, very low traffic and quiet, no highway noise. And. Street's not too bad. Houses aren't too run down or anything. Um, so our driveway here. Probably fit two cars. And we are on a little uphill slant to the front door. Yeah, before I go too far. Right now there's no no stairs inside to get upstairs, only the outside access, because they have it in the apartment upstairs. All the siding's in real good shape, besides the um, different colors that don't match as you see on the front porch uh, they finished, and the blue siding, the original siding doesn't match. Before we go in the backyard, since there's no access, I'm going to run upstairs and show you that first. Like I said, they had it set up in an apartment, so this would probably be their living area, but it's a good sized bedroom. Ceiling heights in these rooms uh, are very nice and tall. This is eight feet tall, at least, and then... Uh, it only slants down just a little in the corner there. Walls are in pretty good shape. There's no ceiling damage. Here would be another bedroom. Nice big closet area, although it has the slanted ceiling. So you couldn't make this a bath or anything. And the ceilings in here are plenty tall. And it also only slants down just a little bit towards the corner there. It's plaster walls, but they're in pretty good shape. Sides here, this is like the only ceiling damage I've seen throughout the house. And before we go to the kitchen, they have a full bath here. And over here, this isn't even a room. This could be a nursery or a storage area. Mostly wooden windows. They got a few replaced. Here's the full bath up here. Laminate. It needs fixtures, tile, and flooring. It's a decent sized bathroom. And there's where you walk in, straight across the hall is the kitchen, upstairs kitchen, which is another good sized bedroom if we wanted. So definitely room for a full bath. I think we could add a, I think upstairs could sit as a 3-2. I think we could add a full bath up here and turn this bedroom, this kitchen into a third bedroom. Walls look pretty good, a few cracks in plaster. And back here, the rest, this is like the last part of the upstairs apartment. This is just storage in here. Notice the low ceiling, slanted. And up here, this is where I believe the original stairways came up stairs. And they've shut it, closed it off, and replaced it with a, the HVAC system. This walkway, stairs going up, actually real sturdy, pretty good shape. I don't know if we want to keep that though. 
back where we left off on the outside. The foundation looks real good. Um, I don't see any major cracks. There's our two old units. And we have a nice large backyard. A little bit of cl clutter in the neighbor's yard, but nothing, uh, I don't think it'll scare buyers away. And we back up to other single family homes. Quiet back here, nothing commercial. Our shed, definitely very old and needs a lot of work or to be removed. Roof's done. And the back side of our roof looks good. There's no real, there's no patched areas, very little discolor, and the dormant out area looks pretty good. This back deck is very, very unlevel. Probably needs to be demoed and build a new one if we want a back porch. And the basement access. Siding over here looks good as well as the foundation. And it looks like we could put a, bring our driveway back further. It's kind of a skinny opening, but, and there's a tree in the way here, so it'd be kind of pointless to make the driveway longer. Going through the back door here. We'll walk straight through to the kitchen, or to the front door, sorry. So here's your front door, what used to be the porch in here. Still kind of unfinished little porch area. Definitely need some work in here. Um, then you walk in, before I go over to the living and dining area, I'm going to start with this first bedroom to your right. Walls are in great shape. A little closet here. And then this half of the front porch was popped out to make closet space, which is a nice big closet for this room. That could even be a full bath. It's definitely big enough. If we were to keep the porch closed in like it is. These floors are Old style wood, but uh, they've been refinished. They look pretty good, but they are on level. Here we are back to the main entrance. It's a hallway straight back, and to the left here is living room and dining room combined. And it opens up to the kitchen. All these windows one, two, three, four, five, six, even in the back of the kitchen, brand new. Drywall in here and recessed lighting looks pretty good. Back to the kitchen. Cabinets are in pretty good shape. Could maybe be painted and put some new hardware on them. And on the other side of the kitchen. That just goes downstairs, and back here could be a little, I don't know what this could be. <laughs> this is laundry room and slash pantry off the kitchen here. There's about six inch step down into that. So walking back towards the front door. That was the first bedroom we went into. Second one on your right is here, which is a good sized bedroom. Trim definitely needs some work. It's like unlevel, kind of wavy looking. Um, I don't know, 
know if you can see it popping in and out, but it doesn't look right. But the walls are drywall is in good shape. It's a good size room and small closet. Last on this floor is the half bath. So they've got some newer fixtures. I still need some work. And this is where it used to go upstairs. They've got it blocked off. That's it. <laughs> Basement now. This half finished in drywall, but it's very moldy and it's low ceilings, about six foot two inches, maybe six one with the drywall finish. And this half unfinished is all utilities. The toilets plumbed in, the sump pump, there's two sumps, one in this corner, one back there. Electric panel, it's a stab lock panel. Some newer wiring though. Maybe just replace the panel and fix up, repair some of the wiring. And back here is <laughs> HVAC. Ductwork looks all right. I think it definitely needs some repairs. It doesn't look, looks a little sketchy. It looks a little bent up. And the hot water heater looks good. No rust at the bottom and seems to be all copper coming off. I don't see it switching over to galvanize anywhere. And washer dryer. And last is the other sump pump. And that door comes back out to our finished area.